Shipping is an integral part of your e-store be it on any platform. WooCommerce lets you, set up shipping on your store using default methods like Free shipping Local pickup and Flat rate In this video, we will show you, how to set up a flat rate shipping on your WooCommerce store. But before we get on with the explanation, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so that you don't miss out on great content on WordPress and WooCommerce. Before we begin with, let us understand, what exactly flat rate means in WooCommerce shipping. In simple terms, WooCommerce flat rate shipping, is simply setting up a fixed shipping rate under a shipping zone. Based on the nature of your products, you can create multiple flat rates under a shipping zone. To make the rates specific to the nature of the products, you can use product shipping classes also. To set up flat rate shipping, on your WooCommerce store, follow these simple steps. Step 1, go to WooCommerce settings and select shipping. Step 2, select shipping zones. Step 3, select shipping methods as flat rate, from free shipping, local pickup, and flat rate. Step 4, edit the flat rate settings and apply rate to be applied. Step 5, apply taxes if you need it. Let us take a look at the steps in detail. Firstly, go to WooCommerce settings and select WooCommerce shipping. In the WooCommerce shipping, select shipping zones for offering your services. In the shipping, zone select the shipping method you want to choose. On selecting you will see a modal window with a drop down, with three different options for shipping methods. These are flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. Choose the flat rate shipping option, and click the add shipping method button. Now, you can see that a flat rate shipping method is created inside the shipping zone. You can enable or disable a shipping method under the shipping zone by using this button. The next step is to specify the rates for your flat rate shipping. You can click the edit option under the name of the shipping method for this. This will open another modal window, where you can specify the rates. You need to enter a name for the shipping method, which will be displayed in the front end. The next option in the settings is setting the tax. You can set it to taxable or not, depending on the need. For example, if you want to charge $3, simply enter 3.00 in the cost option. Upon doing so, when your customer makes a purchase from your shop, then the customer gets a $3 flat rate amount charged for their order in the cart. Now let us find out what per item shipping is about. WooCommerce offers certain advanced methods to include flat rate shipping charge per item. Quantity, when you want to charge additional shipping charges based on the number of products in the cart, you can use this placeholder. Fee, when you want to set up additional shipping charges based on the total order cost, you can use this one. This one has additional arguments that you can use along with it. Some additional arguments to go with it are Percent to set an additional shipping charge as a percentage. MIN underscore fee, to set a minimum value for additional charges. Max underscore fee to set a maximum value for additional charges. Let us walk through some scenarios to understand it in a better way. Suppose you want to keep the shipping charge like, $3 per item in the cart, then you can do by adding a placeholder to set up the shipping cost. When your customer places an order, then for a single item you can see, $3 as flat rate applied. Now if the number of items in the cart is more, then you can see a multiple of $3 per item is charges, and applied. Let us now consider yet another scenario. Suppose you want to charge a base shipping cost, of $10 and, based on the order amount, you want to charge a 10% shipping charge. Here, you can also set a minimum amount, where this additional charge will be applicable, say $5. Let's see how you can set it up. In the shipping field, you can add the following. This means for all orders, a base shipping charge of $10 will be applied. Along with that, a 10% of the order value will be added, as additional charges. 
Now, the minimum additional charge of $5, will be levied for orders with a lesser amount. Let us take a look at it with an example to understand it better. Suppose the customer is purchasing a product worth $20. The base shipping charge of $10 is applied. Along with that, ideally, 10% of $20 should be charged, which will be $2. However, since you have set a minimum value of 5, the additional charge will be $5. That makes the total shipping costs to be $15. Now if it is a larger order with two products as shown here in the cart, then the $10 base charge and the additional 10% will be applied. As per the calculation, the shipping charges will be $22. Shipping Classes You can set your shipping classes and then set up different shipping rates for the same. Let us assume we have two kinds of products categorized as fragile and bulky. In the WooCommerce shipping settings, you need to add the shipping classes. Bulky for heavier items. Fragile for brittle and handle with care items. Now in the shipping methods modal window, you can also choose to apply the shipping charges. Here the calculation of the shipping charges, can be either based on the order or based on the class, bulky or fragile. If there are multiple products from various shipping classes then the total shipping fare will be the total of all the shipping charges assigned to the bulky, fragile, and no shipping class costs assigned in the shipping settings. If you are looking for advanced options in WooCommerce shipping then there are plenty of plugins available in WooCommerce. Let us glance through a few. Advanced Flat Rate Shipping Method for WooCommerce here using the plugin you can set up unlimited rules for your flat rate shipping and much more. The major advantage of the plugin is that it offers an extensive range of options to help you set up shipping rates in your store. You can create specific rules for location, users, products, variations, and carts. It also lets you combine different rules to customize shipping methods on your store. When you have multiple conditions for WooCommerce flat rate shipping, you can control which method, gets priority based on your strategy. Overall, the plugin is a great option to supercharge your WooCommerce flat rate shipping options. Another plugin on our list is the advanced flat rate shipping method, which is a free plugin. You can create a basic set of rules, to set up shipping rates on your WooCommerce store using this plugin. It offers options to create rules based on location, product, category, tag, user, cart subtotal, and quantity. The plugin is quite easy to set up, and will help you a lot in creating an effective shipping strategy. The next one is per product shipping. The plugin is again a premium one. Here, you will be able to set up shipping rates specific to, products based on the location, of the customer. The plugin lets you create a standalone shipping method, or you can add per product shipping costs to other shipping methods. Basically, you will be able to define per line and per item shipping costs based on products or variations. Based on the customer's address costs can vary. You can also set up flat rate shipping using various popular plugins that support other shipping carriers like USPS, FedEx, UPS, etc. which are listed in the description. Hence, these are the simple and easy steps to set up flat rate shipping for your WooCommerce store. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. If you have any ideas, suggestions, and topics to cover related to WordPress and WooCommerce, do let us know in the comments section. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels.